Okay, today's tutorial is going to be about the importance of creating templates in Reason. And right now what you're looking at is a empty Reason rack. And before we get started though, uh, this tutorial is brought to you by RPS Books. And they are the creators of the Music Producers Blueprint. And that book can be found at www.rpsbooks.com. And that's for those producers that are serious about learning more about the actual art of being a music producer in this industry. Okay, let's get started now. And basically the importance of having a template when you start in Reason is for the uh, expediency, if you're trying to produce fast, you know, which most producers in this industry need to produce somewhat fast you want to be able to have you know basic templates that you start with all the time whatever sounds you like whatever uh, reason uh, instruments you like it allows you to load your reason in and you already got your sounds and you're ready to go and so basically we're looking at like I said an empty rack and the first thing we want to do is we want to create you know whatever we consider to be our sounds we use so I'm just gonna start off and create a uh, mixer and uh, for our tutorial purposes here I'm gonna go ahead and create a Kong drum go down and create a Kong drum okay and then I'm gonna give uh, load that with a with a basic patch so you know so we have some sounds we start with so we just make that uh, beat street we'll just make that the beat street uh, kit Okay, so now that's the Beat Street kit. And let's say we want to have a bass sound, so we'll go ahead and load in a subtractor. All right. And uh, let's just find a basic subtractor bass sound. All right, so we just make that a bass guitar. And let's say we want to have a basic piano, you know, as a starter for us. So we'll go into our NNXT sampler. And we'll load in a basic piano, load in a grand piano sound. Okay, so let's just say that's our basic template. We got our, our Kong Beat Street drum kit. You know, we got our basic bass sound and our basic piano. Now what you do now is you go into the edit section and you go into preferences and you're in the general tab and when you go down here where it says default song right now it's on empty rack so if I click on new the rack is going to come back empty you know, if I create a new uh, reason patch so what we want to do is we want to go to custom and then we're going to load in the patch we just created. So before we do this, we're going to save what we just created, you know, with our mixer, our Beat Street kit, our subtractor bass, and our grand piano. So you save that and you call it whatever you want. We're just going to call it template four. You see, I got other templates there that we use, that I actually use, I should say. This is just for example purposes. So we save that. Okay. So now we go back to our edit and our preferences and back down to our empty rack here, built in our custom. We click on custom and we click on this little folder here to find what we just saved. Okay and we put that at the top here okay so here's our template 4 that we just created double click on that now template 4 and custom is chosen so template 4 is sitting there for us and so now we just close this and when we load a new you know uh, reason project it's going to come back with all those same same sounds that we just created so see now we now every time we load a new project, all of those sounds are gonna always come back. 
And basically, that's what we want to be able to do because now we want to be able to start. We don't want to have to look for sounds every time we get ready to start. We want some basic sounds that we can start with. Of course, you can substitute kits here and there or whatnot, but you always want to have, you can have several different templates. You know, you can have 20, 30 different templates for one for your hip-hop sound, one for your rock sound, one for your R&B sound, whatever you got. You can, but these templates will help you work much, much quicker. And like I said, that's our tutorial for today. And once again, it's brought to you by RPS Books. And they are the creators of the Music Producers Blueprint for those producers that want to seriously upgrade your skills as a producer. And you can find that at www.rpsbooks.com.